glad to be your host of Musica, where music is the universal language. I'm very happy to be joined today by Ivan and Kelly of the Rosebuds. Welcome. Hey, Joe. How you doing? We're sitting on the stage at the Gray Eagle as the rain pours outside in front of their show tonight. And they're kicking off their tour here in Asheville in support of their new record, Loud Planes Fly Low. How's it going? It's good. Great. I mean, First day of the tour. Yeah, trying to get trying to get situated. You know, remember how to tour again. It's been, been about a year and a half. I think. Yeah. We gotta figure out how to pack the van <laughs> again. <laughs> yeah. Nash feels a good stop for that. Yeah, it's perfect because it's yeah. our friends in town. Yeah, and it's not all that far. Not too far. Not from that home. far. Yeah. From, yeah. from down east. Yeah. yeah. Well, Loud Plains Fly Low is the new record on on Merge again on Merge and. Can you tell us about some of your near-term plans, about how the record's going and things like that? Yeah, well, I mean, it's doing really good. I think it's kind of surprising. Not us, but like <laughs> some people. And uh, um, it's a pretty dark record, I mean, subject matter-wise, but it's beautiful at the same time. I think it, people are really connecting with that, you know. I would say it has like kind of a, like a velvety quality. That, that is really, really out front. It's yeah. Really lush front. Thanks, it's, man. Thank you. Yeah. Our, I, go ahead. Well, I was going to say, I feel like um, a lot of the sounds that we were getting in the studio when we were making the record were, um, I think that like the, the way that they felt, they almost, to me, had a tactile quality. So I like that you said velvety because to me, I feel like the record is, um, is about feeling and it's about. Um, um, the feeling that we were able to get from from the sounds that we were making in the studio, and this is a, a record that we made with sounds built in a way that we hadn't really done before, which you know had less demos and things like that involved. And um, our prior records were more demoed out, you know. Um, I would say more structured pop songs. So. I'm glad that you said Bellevue because it is, it really, it feels, to me, it feels more tactile. Well, great. Great. And our, uh, the guy who makes the record, he'll be happy to hear that. To hear that too, yeah. Black Mountain's newest resident as of today. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, um, BJ Burton, who mixed our record, uh, and um, his songwriting partner, Stu McLam, they moved to Black Mountain this week to work on their new record for Merge Records. Love Language. Well. Yeah. And they're in a band called Love Language, and they're from our town. Great. Yeah. Well, we're fans of Love Language, too. We'll have to get them cool. on the show now that they're local, especially. Yeah. Shit, they're interesting. They'll be here tonight. You should just grab them and make them do it tonight. It'd be, it'd be <laughs> interesting. So tell us about where the tour's going to take you. Oh. oh, you're not going to believe this. OK, we have um, a two-month tour, so. I say you're not gonna believe it because I don't believe it, but like, uh, if you kinda can, okay, think about what you were doing two months ago. What was two months ago from today? April. So, April, everything you've done since the middle of April, um, every meal, every hour of sleep, everything that we're gonna do for the next two months is gonna be on the road, which is just like a crazy thing to be thinking of right now, today, because it's the first day of the tour. Yeah, I could probably grow a beard in two months. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I can't grow a beard. <laughs> he gets only... a really good goatee going, though. Like a nice conquistador. <laughs> we're the only anti, we're a no beard band. We're the only <laughs> band who's, like, right. Only, beard, only band in America with no beard. Well, are you going to be all in the States this time? Any abroad? Any, any going over and having the red carpet treatment in Russia or anything like that? Uh, no, not yet. All this two months of We're going to Canada. Canada. Mm. Yeah. It's usually red carpet treatment at the border. There. <laughs> yeah, really mean, nice. If by red carpet you mean totally like uh, getting abused and They're uh, usually yelled okay. at. It's usually when like you come back to America. Apart. Yeah. Like what's in that van? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for some reason it's always our van and our friends that we tour with, they have like uh, Grateful Dead stickers on their van and all this other stuff and they just sail right through. And for some reason, we look like the people who would be causing trouble. So uh, because we don't look like a band, we're like guys are totally lying. You're not in a band. Maybe they, yeah, that's right, right. Oh, I didn't think about that. Maybe they think we're lying. 
Well, you have Floating Action opening yeah. up for you tonight, Seth Kaufman and the crew. That's so exciting. Logan actually drums for Seth, that guy right there in the background. A lot, so that was really exciting. We were sitting at dinner last night, and a band other lives canceled because their transmission went in their van. And we were sort of like scrambling because we were going to ask our friends Knives and Daggers, which is actually the first Rosebuds drummers band, and he lives in Asheville, to play. And I was texting him, and Logan got a call, and he was like, man, uh, the bass player of Floating Action just said they were playing with us. And I was like, hell yeah. Which is cool, because I've been meaning to see yeah. those guys, and, and we have somehow managed to be out of town or on tour every time they play near. We have house parties in Raleigh where people like play that first record. And All night long. Kind of party yeah. that record. Mm -hmm. so we love the music. It's we really awesome. We never got a chance to see them live, so now tonight we're going to play with them. Great. Well, Kelly, I was reading, and I did not know this until I read this article real recently, that your first love was stand-up comedy. Yeah. And have you done any of that recently? Um, no, not recently, because we just kind of like went under cover making this record. I mean, like, for real, like, the two of us just spent a lot of time just really super focused on that. But, um, yeah, before I was in the Rosebuds, um, I even knew that I could be on stage and not be afraid to be on stage because I was doing stand-up comedy. And um, so, uh, so I've been doing it for a long time, but I um, haven't done it lately. I should get back to it. I mean, I feel like it will be time soon. You're on stage tonight. I'm on stage tonight, so right. So maybe I should do some something, just you know, a little solo act. Is that what you mean? Maybe you got. <laughs> I, I'd say you probably. She have. has the green light at any time to do that. But yeah, I think Ivan would love that. I don't know. I'm kind of feel like I'm rusty, so I should like. Uh, Maybe I should, yeah, maybe a Rosebud show is a good time to just start abusing people with like really bad, <laughs> really rusty, you, you know, stand-up comedy. You can always play a comedy. song. See, that's the, that's the out. <laughs> that's right. Right. Yeah. right. If it bombs, you just play a song. <laughs> if it, yeah, if it bombs epically, then people won't, it'll be fine. I'll just think that we're really bad at stage banter. <laughs> we are. I don't have to carry it all myself. I that. We are kind of bad at stage Especially banter. Because we got in the background. That's right. It's automatic. It's already. Yeah. That's right. Wow. Well, it's great talking with y'all today. Thanks, man. Yeah. Thanks for your time. I wish you the best of luck with the new record. Check it out. Loud Plains Fly Low on Merge Records. It's the Rosebuds on Lingua Musica. I'm Joe Kendrick. Thank you, Jesse Ham, for videography. Thanks to Scotty Robertson for technical support. Check us out online. Drop us a line. We're here. Thank you so much.